everybody, it's Professor Williams, and today we're going to use Excel to find the probability of X being greater than a point on our curve. The average weight of an English Bulldog is known to be 50 pounds with a standard deviation of 3 pounds. We can assume that these weights are normally distributed. If a Bulldog is selected at random, what is the probability that it will weigh more than 53.7 pounds, or this area under the curve right here. So we're going to use Excel to find that probability. All right, so I'm going to come up here to my insert function. And in your search, you're just going to type normal and then hit go. What you're going to do is you want to scroll down and you want to find this norm dist. N-O-R-M dot D-I-S-T and hit OK. That's going to give us this dialog box. We knew that our value of X on the curve was 53.7 pounds. We were told that the mean weight was 50 pounds with a standard deviation of 3 pounds. And because we want a cumulative um, probability in this logic argument, we're simply going to type true and we're going to hit Okay, and so that tells us that the probability of finding a value less than our x was 0.8913. So what XL told us was that the probability of finding a value less than our value of x, which is this area indicated by the arrow, you know that this area, whole area under the curve was 0.8913. But what we wanted was from here up. And remember the characteristic of the normal curve is that the total area under the curve is equal to 1. So we know that the area below 53.7, the area above 53.7 is going to equal 1. So I'm simply going to take 1 minus my 0.89. 1, 3, and that's going to give me an area up here in the tail of the curve of 0 0.1087. And I'm going to convert that to a percentage because we were looking for a probability. And so we just always have to remember that the cumulative distribution function in Excel solves in this direction. And when we want this area up here, we can simply subtract from 1 in order to find our probability or our area underneath the curve. As always, I hope that you found this useful, and thanks for watching.